Hello everybody and welcome to Taking Your Classroom to the Next Level. I'm of course Ryan Reed, Instructional Technologist. As we all know, creation such as reading with pictures has become huge in the education field where people create or use comics to develop and create lesson plans for education with all their students from PK all the way to college level. I'm here to talk about today about three wonderful apps that will actually will allow you and your students to create your own comic strips in, in a very educational use. So I'm here to talk about those three. Comic Book, Comic Maker HD, and of course Kid Strip Pro. So how do these all work on the iOS device? Let me explain. All right, we're going to start ourselves out here with our three comic book creation apps. I'm going to start right now with a classic comic book. This is a $2.99 app on the App Store. It is free now and again, so just keep your eyes open. So let's get going. So first, we click on comic book. And pretty much our favorite superhero dog that is not crypto will show up. So here we go, and it's giving me the options right now to import pictures. It just basically says to tap on the either device, either the picture icon, which of course will get you to choose one from your camera roll, or you can take a fresh picture right from your camera. So I'm going to get out of that, and I'm going to show you how those both work. So first, I'm going to click on the picture icon, and it's going to ask me if we would like to allow it. I'm, of course, going to say OK, and it's going to bring up my various photo streams. So I'm going to go in the photo stream, and I'm going to take out a poem here. And basically, um, I'm going to pick out here a picture of my son here. He just created a gingerbread house here. So happy holidays, everybody. It will usually take a second. We'll then tell you right here to pinch to scale or rotate. And I will show you how that works. So I can move the picture around. As you can see, it does not leave the frame. And if I want to take two fingers, I can rotate this all the way around. So I can actually do this. And as you can see, there is a partial shirt right in here. I am going to move that out. I'm going to expand the picture just a little bit. And it says right here if I want to add an effect to, you know, tap it again. So if you hit the FX button, which is in the very top right over here, it will give me the different options here. Basically, this works on different tones here. Make comic, sketch, tune, magna, variant, uh, killing poster, or moody. I'm actually going to just make this turn into a sketch picture, which is kind of cool. And my son has officially become a comic sketch. Isn't that kind of cool? And then if I want to take a picture to add on here, I'm going to take a picture of my clock over here. And it'll just ask me to retake or use the photo. I'm just going to hit use photo. And then I can do the same here. I can scale here. And if I tap on the FX, I'm going to make this magnet. That's kind of a cool effect. Now, as you can see now, I have the pictures inserted. And now, as you can, there's the Create tab on here. If I tap the Create tab, it gives me a couple options. I actually can redo the frames if I want to make this a different one. If I want to do this as just a single frame, all the way to multi-frames, I can add captions just by selecting one. And as you can see, it will tell you the drag and move, tap to edit, or delete, or fix the tail. So I will do that. So I'm going to bring this over, I'm going to tap that, and I'm going to make that a little bigger by just dragging, and then I'm going to type in and I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to bring the caption there to Tyler, and then after that I'm going to go back to create here, and I'm going to actually add a sticker here. And I'm going to tap in this. As you can see right now, there's some holiday stickers right now. We have the option. You can buy more stickers if you want to, but as you can see, they will usually cost you 99 cents. They usually will go free depending on the time of the year. So if I work my way over here, as you can see, I can see out here, and I can just take my, and I'm going to just put up, actually, I'm actually going to look at the snowflakes here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to decorate Tyler's shirt a little bit here. This is a kind of little cool effect I haven't used much. So now instead of a red shirt, he's got a holiday shirt there, looking all holiday style. And once that's all finished, I head over here to my share button, which is over here. And as you can see, you can do anything from saving this image to your camera, saving it as a PDF, email the file, send it to Facebook, put it on Twitter, you can actually go Instagram. You can print these if you have a wireless air printer. Um, there's more information here and setting, but I'm just going to save this to my camera roll. And as you can see, it will take a second there to highlight. And once it does...
as you can see, it's ready to go to be exported or used as a, used as a Christmas photo. And that right there, everybody, is how to use comic. And now moving from comic book, we're going to go over to Comic Maker HD. This is a completely free app you can get on the App Store. It's wonderful. There's even a desktop version of it. Right now, I'm going to go right into it. As you can see, this actually works a little bit similar to iPhoto as well as Scribble Press here. We actually have two sample comics here to give a little tutorial. You can create your comic right here, or you can do it right here from your photos or photo assets, depending on things. And your help button's right here. So I'm going to go right into one I was working on right here with one of my students for a tutorial here. We were doing on Kahoot, which if you've seen my previous ones. So here is our project and everything here. As you can see, I already imported my photo right here from my photo stream. This is your command right here. If you click right here, of course, on the camera icon, you'll get your photo app to take. If you click on the pictures here, it's going to go through what you already have accessed onto your actual files on Comic Maker HD. If you actually want to actually import them directly from your iPad, you go right over here to this option. And this will give you your layout right here where you can go through which ones you want. Once you've selected one you want, let's take one from earlier from my son I did from the previous one. And now it gives me the options here. We can shadow these pictures, crop them, flip them horizontally or vertically. You can change them by arrangements. You can delete them. Or you can actually do the properties change on here. And as you can see, I have my points right here to rescale my picture. So if I move it around using my finger, I can actually scale it back enough and move this over right here. As you can see here with the green tab as I'm tabbing, it allows me to rotate my pictures in any shape or form. And it will give you the little count measure on the side. So once you've done that, and if you scale it correctly, I'll finish that. I will now take them. I will go down to a previous picture I had now here too. Now this one I've already imported and made the full unit here. Now, however, if I want to add any captions to these, as you can see, I can go right over here. I now have the option to either create borders here with a regular option such as word balloons, properties, opacities, and if I wanted to make them left, center, or right. Right here, if I click on the by type setting I want for my word balloon, it allows me to adjust the width, the line dash options, what color you want the board, fill it if I want to, or even show shadow if I would like to. And as you can see, you can do your X and Y shadow as well as your color. And I tap it on the screen, I have my word balloon. As you can see, as I use my finger here, I can move the word balloons around as I want, as well as reshape them to make them a little bit more option, as well as change them around by holding the green button. If I want to, at any other point, I can actually pick other shapes and lines. By tapping these, I get the exact same option, how I want to do them in what form, what color, and anything else. Once I've selected what I would like, I can tap out on the picture and then adjust it any way I want. Once I am satisfied with my project, I will just hit the done button, and then I will be allowed to. I can actually make any changes I would like to, as I shown earlier, or I am allowed to actually export these as finished files. If I hit the share button, it will ask me either to print them, export them to the photos library, send email, or post them on Facebook. Another very interesting option right here is if I clicked on the top here, it starts a brand new page. Actually, one of the one things you are allowed to do is if you want to do these page by page, you are you can do this. These will save as a CMF file, which you can then export and use on various other programs and apps if you would like to. 
If I click that button again, it brings me back to the old page I was previously working on. If I ever want to add more pages, I can just hit the Add button right here, and it will give me the options if I want to use my current layout or if I want to create my own, and as well as how many I want to. You can go as far as you want. You want to make a 40-page comic, you can do this, but you can do this in lots and lots of ways. All you have to do is figure them out and then hit the Create button. And once you're finished, you can either head back to your library which will save the file and it will be on your bookshelf. And if I select on my option here, I can now rename it, duplicate it, email, upload a Dropbox, upload it to box.net, or put it on a WebDAB file. It's all up to you how you would like to do this or if you would like and to keep it. The one I'm going to talk about today is Friends Strip Pro. This is also a paid app right now in the App Store. I'm going to go over to Friends Strip for Kids here. As you can see, they already have library choices if you would like to, but it'll ask you right now. It'll give you a little tutorial if you would like to and how they work. Once you hit the next button, it'll give you a little run through about how every single one does, about how you can import pictures as well as do editing. We're going to skip out of all that. It'll ask you right here if, there, if you want to do parental control setup of these or through other ones. And here's your library. So let's say I want to do a little bit of a pirate's little adventure today. So I'm going to do right here. As you can see, it's asking me right here to do the slap on it. So I'm going to do that. It's going to download the strip quickly. And then right here it gives you a little bit of the story and everything. So, of course, we need to get these imports in here. So once I click on there, it'll ask you right here if I want to take the picture from scratch, if I want to reverse it or not. Now I just took a little picture of nothing so you can see how that works. However, if I want to, I can retake it. Not my best picture, but you're getting the idea. Once you've taken all this in here, you can also hit the edit button. We're going to right here, we'll ask you right here, everybody's storyboard here. All I have to do is, of course, hit the edit. And I just hit the apply, and as you can see, It will create the bubble for you and change it right from there. Actually, in a way, that's kind of kind of cool because I'm actually uh, pointing to fire the cannons there. So everybody at Starburn, get your cannons, aim, fire! Ha-ha! Once I'm finished with this, I'm allowed to actually share it if I want to showcase it to all. Or if I just want to do a regular share right here, where you can email it, save it to your camera roll, or put it right to your Facebook account if you use Facebook. And basically just work out here using each one of your strips here. Like I said, you can create birthday cards, superhero books, creature features, and many, many more. It's a very fun and wonderful app. It's very simple to use for anybody from PK through 6th grade. Use any of these apps to create wonderful stories or creations using pictures or images to create in a learning environment. How and when is up to you and your students and how you would like to use them in each of your classroom. But they work from anything from math to creation and art. They're wonderful other types of creation apps which you can check out over on the App Store. Also, if you check out what readingwithpictures.org for all their various lesson plans created by teachers for teachers and how to use these in various ways. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial of taking your classroom to the next level and I will see you later.